Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video I want to answer a question that was posed to me in class the other day, and naturally I couldn't remember at the time, but after refreshing my memory banks, I wanted to knock out a video to demonstrate how to measure an angle inside of Inventor using the measure tool. So the scenario was we want to take this step in this little bracket piece that we've got and we want to replace it with just a sloped surface. So instead of the big step, just going to have a sloped surface. But we don't want to change the location of this flat edge. So I don't want the slope to go too far. So for example, since this is a step file, I'd use the direct edit tool. And if I modify that angle, it's not 25, but it's also not 30. See how it shifted the thing? So that's where we had to figure out the angle. So if you use the measure command, you can measure angles, but it's not super obvious how. So you would try to measure between this line and this line, and you would get distances. You wouldn't really get what you want. If you clicked on the surface to surface, it'd be 90 degrees, so not really what you want. So to measure the angle, you can use points. So you pick the first point and the second point needs to be the point that would be the pivot of the angle. So I'm going to pick this point. And then here's the big mystery. You hold down the shift key, pick the third point, and it will measure the angle between the three points. But just to reiterate, that second point needs to be the pivot of the angle. And then you can come up to your angle measure right click and you can copy that value. Now when we go to the direct edit tool, we can again pick our back edge for the direct edit. We can start this angle, but we get into the value. So you actually click inside, you can paste that original value in, hit enter, and now we've added that slope. So if you ever need to get the precise angle of an object, you can use the three points again the second point must be the pivot. So a relatively quick hitter today. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and have a blessed day.